Hello everybody, Donkey here, and yes, we are back with some more Train Sim 2021. And uh, we are on the uh, the West Coast Mainline North DLC, and we are taking out this very nice Class 92 in Rail Freight Grey livery. Um, I've not had much experience with the 92. Um, this is literally the first time... Um, I'm jumping into the 92, but uh, it is it is one of those weird weird locos. It, and this scenario is called Electric Troubles, and it is 40 minutes long, and it is a red scenario, so it's going to be quite difficult. So let's jump into the cab and see what it's all about. But before we do, I just want to say, if you are a new viewer who hasn't subscribed yet, please do so down below, so that we can get our channel up to a thousand subs all right let's jump into the cab okay so we are inside the cab and it says good afternoon driver today you will be driving the 1032 coat bridge flt to crew bass hall ssm but only as far as car stairs where another driver will take over from you However, there has been mention of a failing intercity service to London Houston that has problems today, so you might be held up on the way. In addition, you will have to take a damaged 92 with you today. Okay, so we are taking a, a damaged 92 with us, and uh, let's just take a look at this inside here. Yeah, the 92 is definitely very modern, and as you can hear, the sound of it is... Uh, it's quite good. We are going to. There's another train coming along here. Oh, it's a HST. It's an intercity HST. I wonder if that's the one that's having problems. Cab lights we'll have on. Um, we'll have upper headlights, instrument lights, and then daytime runnings. Yep. And we'll also do. Uh, goods timing because we are a goods uh, and now the 92 is a bit of a difficult one to get moving um, our key is in our master key and um, we will make sure the panto is up and you press that little button there and uh, you need to make sure that you do that down here that to one and then, then the uh, BB close BCB close um, Next we will set the speed to 5 because you are actually supposed to drive the 92 with the speed controller uh, or the speed selector. I'm not sure if it's just company policy but that's how you're actually supposed to drive it. And we can put this into forward. Clear the uh, AWS there. And I think we're good to go. We are... Do we have a red light out of here? I think we're okay. I think we're okay to get moving. And uh, we just unapply the brakes until they fully come off. You can see down here is the brakes. And then we just apply a bit of power. We don't want wheel slip. So we're just going to start off on 14%. Let's just take a look at this thing as it goes past. Ninety-two is quite a an interesting one. Looks like this will be the broken ninety-two here. Ninety-two zero three three, and we got a yellow, so we can head out of here. As you know, the speed controller here is set to five, 
so we won't go above five miles an hour exiting the yard here. Now, Train Sim 2021 compared to Train Sim World 2. Train Sim World 2 has better graphics, obviously. Oh, there we go. We got green. But it's it's designed more for the um, more for the casual player. Um, so there's a lot more visual indication of signals and speed changes. In this, you've literally got no uh, no indication of if you're if you're speeding or if you've if the next signal is a red or anything. You've literally just got to look out the window yourself. Um, that was a single yellow, so the next one should be red. But we are coming onto this main line here, so I think we're okay. And uh, it looks a bit dim in here, but the light is on. They're just a bit dim. And we have to wait until the whole train is past this 15 mile an hour before we can punch it up. And that's okay, we'll just slowly exit the yard here. And oh, you need to keep an eye on the warning system. Otherwise, it will break the train. As you can see, it's 10.34 in the morning. So, a bit of a late shift for us, but uh, it's okay. So, yeah, if you're having trouble with the 92, just uh, just re-watch the start of this. But basically, make sure this is the pantograph is up to 1, and then press this little button in the middle of here. And then you should be able to get going. I've put the brake timing to goods rather than passenger. You don't have to do that, but... Okay, we are... We are on the main line now. Yeah, the 92 is a bit of a weird one. It is, a. Uh, yeah. It, it took me by surprise the, uh... The first time I sort of had a go in it. I need to make sure that we get that. Hopefully when the whole train's through that 15 mile an hour limit. And then when we're getting going, I'll tell you a bit more about the 92. Because it is... It's about the same age, actually, as the 66. Um... Except it's a different attempt at freight than the 66. Um, the 92 focuses more on electric, electrified lines and electric power um, when the 66 is diesel. Uh, it's just two different approaches to how freight should be done. Um, the 92, I'd say, is a bit more modern. Even though they were built at pretty much the same time, the 66 and the 92. Um, I would say it's a bit more modern than the 66. Um, but that's just me. Probably because of the electric, you know, the electrified lines and stuff. We're not quite through the 15 mile an hour mark yet, so... It's when the whole train goes through it. As you can see down here, it's almost to the end. And we are just carrying these... Uh, these containers, you've got some 40, is that a 45? That's a 45 uh, foot one. And then we've just got some of these uh, little ones for fluids. They're quite cool. We've uh, we've seen plenty of those in Eurotrip. We've taken a few of them. And what are we doing here? So we are going via there. And we're going via most of these. Now, I will be putting the speed controller up to 15. When we get past it. Because you are supposed to drive the 92 with the speed controller active. I'm not sure if that is just... it's If that's in the, uh, if that's in the operating manual or if... You know, that is... Uh, 
if that's company policy or whatnot, I'm not sure. There we go, 15. So we can punch it a bit more. Don't want to give it too much power because we can overload the motors. And we can um, get wheel slip because with electric and electric motors, it just instant power, instantly applies the power to the wheels and you can just get wheel slip. And we are going via, 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 via. So we are just going via all them 21 miles to car stairs. There might be, a, like I said, there might be a problem. All right, we're on the 40 now. So we'll just put that down to 40. And we should start getting up. <laughs> that horn. <laughs> All right. It'll fluctuate the amps, I believe, so that it keeps us around 29.30. Very user-friendly. They definitely thought about how they could make this loco easy for the driver not to speed and to not, you know, lose focus. Um, obviously... You know, if it was designed for the channel tunnel, which it was, um, you don't want <laughs> drivers falling asleep in the in the dark tunnel, um, and then the train coming to a stop. But yeah, this was actually um, built in 93, 1993, which I think the Class Six Six was also. Well, I think it was 96, the Class 66. I can't remember, but um, similar. Yeah, we need to make sure of that. <laughs> similar sort of era. Um, but like I said, I, I, the you know the classic, the Class 92 here just it feels more modern. It feels more um, like it shouldn't have been uh, you know built at the same time as the the 66, but uh, it was. Total produced was 46, so not many um, compared to the 66. The 66 has had a lot of uh, a lot of them built, but no, this one is in um, rail freight grey livery. We need to be keeping an eye out on there. So yeah, the West Coast Main Line North. Um, this DLC is uh, fairly old now. Uh, it's not as old as some of them. Um, it came out in 2011. Um, so, fairly old now. 10 years old. Um, but still looks amazing. Um, and I believe that the stuff like the 92 is an add-on for it. Uh, you just you get the 92 on its own, and it's for the scenarios are for, oh, are for the um, West Coast North. And uh, so this route actually creates the um, the route from Cars Isle to Glasgow, um, as it appeared in the early 90s. Um, which is why you get the 92 on here, um, because this is how it appeared. This this 92 was early 90s, and uh, this is how this uh, route is. Um, and yeah, so the West Coast Main Line North is sort of up into Scotland. Um, and I mean, in train sim 2021, you can get West Coast Main Line South, West Coast Main Line North, and I've also got West Coast Main Line uh, Trent Valley. Uh, we will be checking out all the West Coast Main Line, um, but we are starting off on the North, and we are starting off with the 92. Uh, there's plenty of scenarios to do on the North. 
So we'll have some freight, we'll have some passenger, and uh, we'll have a good time. And we are on our fifth location going via Wishaw. And then Lore up Main. So we've got not that many stops to go, but we are we need to be keeping an eye out for this uh for this intercity that's had problems apparently. I just got the um, 92 off the Steam store. So if you want to pick up the West Coast Mainline North or the 92, I'll leave all the all the info down below in the description, all the uh, places where you can get it. What's he carrying? Oh, containers, look at that. It's got some 40 foots. Got some smaller ones, some 20s on there. That was quite cool. Green light again. It seems that we're not really gaining an, a lot of speed. We're currently doing 51 and we're on max, but... Uh, I'm not really sure what the top speed of these are. Let's right, say here, 87 is top speed. We're not really getting that, though. I think we are going uphill slightly, we are carrying a lot of weight. It's a shame none of this works. Um, I would have liked to have seen the, uh, you know, this work. Loco. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen all this work and, you know, have the failure messages and whatnot. Maybe, maybe it does and uh, we'll find out in a later scenario what it actually does, but um, yeah, at the moment we're just going along. We're almost to car stairs. Oh, we're stopping. Ooh. Cows and sheep. And what time are we supposed to get there? 10.57. So we are a little bit late. It's 10.59, but that's okay. Wow, 100 mile an hour speed coming up down there. Well, we're not going to be able to get to that by the looks things. Well, what have I got it set to? I've got it set to 70. We're not even close to that. We just had green lights all the way, which is quite nice. This uh, scenario was estimated at a 40 minute scenario. Um, I don't know how long we've actually been in, in here, but... It's been fun. It's been fun.
It'd be nice to get into a class 6 6 again, actually, and um, compare the two. Compare this f to the class 6 6. I mean, they are completely two different locomotives, and they are completely two different roles um, of locomotive. This was designed for the Channel Tunnel, the class 6 6 was designed for freight across the UK, where you know, it's it's out in the open, doesn't have to worry about um, you know going into the uh, going under the ocean and uh, going under the channel through the tunnel. Um, but they were sort of built at the same time, the same era, and they are operating the same the same freight. So it's interesting to see the comparison between the two. Um, and I mean, it even looks a little bit like a 6.6. Six. Sort of got like a, a sort of newer bubbly design to the Class 6.6. Six. I kind of like it better. Um, but I mean, Class 6.6 six is my favourite loco of all time. So you can't really beat that out. <laughs> it's, uh, let's go down here and have a, another flyby. Gotta to remember to uh, keep pressing Q, otherwise we're gonna have a failure again. Literally, if you're going to be sightseeing in this thing outside the camp, just spam Q um, so you don't, you know, emergency break. Cleghorn coming up to. Whistle there. These long stretches of uh, rail up in Scotland here are quite good. That's why there's a hundred mile an hour speed limit. Level we're crossing there, that was quite cool. And Carstairs is two miles away, so... We'll start bringing them down, actually. Whoa! Twenty-five mile an hour. And uh, it's automatically going to break for us. With this? What is that? It's a Deltic, I think. That was quite cool. Um, I probably didn't have to break so aggressively straight away. But, uh... Probably could have waited for the signal, actually. It's okay, I've uh, brought it down anyway to a reasonable speed that we can deal with. I don't want to be, you know, rolling into here at 80 mile an hour and not being able to stop. And that's what's good about the speed controller is, you know, I've set it to 45 and now we're at a decent speed that we can come into car stairs here. Really nice golf course actually in Carstairs. Not quite sure where we're stopping. I'm 
haven't got a yellow, single yellow, so the next one will be red. I don't know if we're stopping before that though or after that. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe stopping before. Again, we'll just use the speed controller, bring it down to 10 mile an hour. Coming through here. Wonder if that's the intercity that it was talking about over there. Didn't really cause us a problem, to be honest, but, uh,. Yeah, there is the 92. Alright, we are stopping down here. Imagine, yeah. So this hasn't gone over the points yet. It's okay, doing 10 mile an hour into here is perfectly fine. That is an adequate... Adequate, um... Speed. Let's save it quickly, just in case we do end up going over there, just in case. And that is it. So, let's take a look at this thing from the outside. That was the Class 92 on the uh, West Coast Mainline North. And uh, we did Electrical Troubles, the scenario. Um, well done, you have arrived at Carstairs for a driver change. The trip was successful. So yeah. If you enjoyed, I'd appreciate a like. If you are a new viewer and you haven't already, please subscribe down below. And uh, we will be doing a lot more on the West Coast Mainline North. So stick around for that. Alright, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.